Hello. So I want to do a quick review of the MGE Etsy Unicorn. I've had this kit for a while in a box. I didn't really want to build it because I'm not that big a fan of Unicorn. Hence why my name is Banshee. I do gotta say that this kit alone changed my whole opinion on it. For a top-down look, it is very nice and one thing that really kind of put me off when I was building it was the date placement. As you can see, it's not perfectly on it, but it is there. And the other part that I didn't like with building this was the shield stands. As they're not the strongest, it does its job. It's a nice kit. I gotta say, to look at, to have, to hold, to own. Especially with the LEDs in here that I know it will light up. It is nice. I did lose some of the pieces though. I was painting. I put them in the separate bags. Again, I had this thing in the box for months. I do not or did not want to think about this guy. Especially with how many pieces he had. I mean, thank you, Bandai. Thank you. I'm not trying to complain about... I'm not trying to say that they're lacking in any way with the unicorn. This unicorn shows you that if Bandai wanted to, they freaking could make an amazing kit. And they have. The new lines of the MGE X to the... Oh, uh, shit, I'm gonna fall off. It, it was my fault. And the perk grade unleashed to some of the other guys that they build like the new real grades. Bandai, they're getting better from where it was. And where it was is, I mean, the Fenix. The Banshee, the old unicorn, the old, old guys from 2012 and before. The high grades, the, the perfect grades are nice, but my problem with the perfect grade Banshee is that he can't even hold his gun, let alone his shield. So he's really just staying there on his base, handless, because I broke them. So, I gotta say, if Bandai keeps on going in that direction, instead of going back to this, then... I gotta say, if they make an MGE at Fenix, and I was watching It's a Gunplus review on them, if it's $400, if I can get this guy, I might just, I might just. I'm just saying that the Electroplatin is a nuisance because as you can see on here, I didn't fix it up. I don't care. I paid $160 for this dude like heck. I'm going to scratch off the paint that makes it the, of it being that price point and the Fenix. So to get into the gate, I should, or the base, I should say, three things I want to say about it. First thing is that it is very space manageable, almost perfect for what it needs to do and what it needs to give you. This basic look, but let alone the fact that it came with a base and a pretty dang good one at that is pretty nice. The connection on here is amazing. I, I can't even complain. I can't say it's bad. I can't just say it's good. It is great. You can pose with this as you've seen a heck of a lot of people. You can pose them flying. He can even extend. Just know that if you put the LED in, I don't want to do it because I'm just cautious. This is my first LED kit. I'm not posing in the corner. I'm not posing that. Because if I break it, I don't want to risk it. The other thing that I like is that you can straight up disconnect the whole thing. Who the heck thought of this? Who the heck thought of this genius idea that, oh, if you don't want it, just take it off. Like, dude, genius. Genius! That's the thing that sold me, especially it can move back and forth. I can't because it's plugged in. I mean, I can't take it up, I'm not going to. I'm lazy. Anyway, this stuff gets me hyped up about what Bandai can do. These little guys, if you want to put the unicorn back in, you have to take these off or you have to slide the whole base on, which scratches my paint all the time, and I'll show you. That's my only problem with the base. I love it, I love it, I love it. Another problem I have is just the spacing in the arms. 
little, little itty bitty nitpicks. It's probably how I built it. There's probably not that didn't sand down enough. Do be careful with these hands though. For some reason, they're very flimsy. The beautiful thing is that it comes with extra hands and weapons in the box and little people and other things. And this is just Verka, Banshees, and Fenets, Bazookas, and stuff. But it's the same thing from the old Master Grades. It's just better. Shields are amazing. Two Gatling guns. But understand that you have to make six of these. So there are four barrels or eight barrels. Four of the holders, four handles, four scopes, four, wait, what? No, whoops, two handles, two scopes, two magazines, two bodies, two handles, two clips. Multiply that by six. This is why I didn't want to do this guy because it, it turned on the end beautifully. Beautifully. But my gosh, I spent hours on this guy and the fact that i messed up with the stickers and that i didn't build him right makes me just want to pose him especially this is the first time i've ever done painting like this if you want a model piece or just something to look pretty this guy is the one he even rivals my fence and fence as you all know is one pretty one pretty girl in comparison, it's like just the sheer stature and everything that comes with this guy makes it worth it. Yes, it is expensive, but think of it like this. You get a permanent stand, LEDs, weapons galore, stickers, a beautiful posable kit that you don't even have to put the LEDs in just to let you know. It's a wonderful, worthwhile kit.